my wrist. Sorry. I was going at recess. I was going down slide. It was a tall slide. It's about the size. I don't know how to explain it, but it's pretty darn tall. So my brain decided it would be a good idea to jump off of it. Now, this jump wasn't very tall because it was like halfway down the slide. Well, I was about ready to go down and then my leg got caught on the edge of the slide. So I went almost face first. I like had my wrist down like this try to catch myself that didn't work I ended up breaking my wrist I don't know how to explain it but it's like two bones right there fractured so it'll take about six weeks to heal so from now on you'll see me wearing this yeah it's the last day of school and the last time I was on the playground, I ended up breaking something. Sounds like me. So I left my phone on the bus. So I'm not going to be getting that until tomorrow. So this video might be posted tomorrow. But, or I can use someone else's phone and upload, not upload, download an editor software like Kind Master or something. And then edit the video then I can have it out today or tonight there's evening right now it's like 8 o'clock sun's going to go down in like 14 15 minutes or 20 I don't know I'm not a scientist I keep this up because apparently if you ouch put it down it'll uh, swell apparently and then that gets too big for the cast like my hand and then it'll cut the circulation off and I will not have an arm so I gotta keep this up or I can keep it down for just a little bit but then I oh god don't do that now it actually doesn't hurt I thought it doesn't hurt that made no sense but I didn't expect it to not hurt this much for something fractured I expected it to hurt a lot more than just feeling like you hit your kneecap on something. That's all it feels like, but for a long time. Yeah, so if you break something, I would expect that. The video, please do of course like the video. If you're not already subscribed, please do of course subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.